How's it going, everyone? Equinox Phoenix here. Today, we are going to talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Sorry. I, I, I'm so used to, like, TV shows, so I was like... It, it just kind of jerked my head for a second. But yeah, we're going to talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And, um... The, uh... Movie... Just throws us in the deep end. Uh... Frame 1, it's... King T'Challa's uh, funeral. Yeah. So, um... For those who aren't keeping up with the, um, the news... Chadwick Boseman, uh, who played King T'Challa, died back in 2020. Apparently, instead of recasting him, they went the... I don't know if I should say wrong or right. I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. They went the route of in memoriam. Let's just write, let's just write the, the dude's uh, death. Um, we don't actually know how he died. Um... Well, it starts with him dying, and then his funeral. Um, anyway, and now, uh, you might be wondering, did they do anything else uh, for for the man himself? Um, they did. Uh, the uh, opening uh, cutscene thing, which usually shows like previous movies and stuff, it was all scenes of Chadwick Boseman as King T'Challa. There might have been some Black Panther scenes in there. Like, him in the suit. I don't recall the particulars. And it was, like, purple, too. Like, instead of, like, the usual red, it was purple. It was really nice. Anyway, um... With the death of King T'Challa, uh... Gonna have some international repercussions, right? Um... And it does. The Queen is um asked to go into we're gonna go with asked right uh it was probably ordered but you know gotta, gotta be polite right uh she is a queen uh well the queen mother now queen uh t'challa's mom retook the throne um she goes to the un after um some mercenaries in what is suspiciously looking like U.S. Army um, clothing. Did I say that? Yeah, it's a glasses case. I should probably stop playing with that. It's a bit too loud. Anyway, um, uh, an outreach center thing for Wakanda um, got attacked by mercenaries in U.S. Army garb. And, um... They are, uh, they're beaten down pretty fucking fast. Um, you don't mess with Wakanda. Anyway, the queen's like, you got, I know what you all whisper in your halls, uh, about how the Black Panther is dead and, uh, that we are weak and all of this. Cause they're trying to like force like vibranium trades and whatnot. And she's like, no, like y'all got nothing. Brings in the thing. And she's like. Here's your men back. And she's looking straight at the French representative. And it's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> so it was the French who hired. Weird that the French hired mercenaries and had them dressed up as U.S. Army people. I know it's U.S. Army garb because my sister's fiance is in the U.S. Army. So, you know, I've seen him in uniform. And it's like, oh, this isn't good. Anyway. Moving on from there, it seems Shuri has been, for the last year, holding herself up in her lap. Um, and not properly grieving her brother. Um, so her mom takes her to the wilderness to... Do a whole ritual where, you know, we say goodbye to our loved ones and whatnot. And Shuri refuses. She's like, she scoffs at religion, uh, not religion, uh, tradition and all of this, you know. Um, Mbaku said that, I believe, in Black Panther 1? Or was that later? Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Mbaku who said it. He's also in this, of course, you know. 
uh this is black panther so he's gonna be in it um and then out comes a man with wings on his legs uh i'm actually gonna look him up uh well i should probably mention that they attacked uh a joint cia something other i forget i think it's fbi uh, venture in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean because you know the US is stupid enough to uh, drill in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, oh. <laughs> I looked them up. Anyway, we got some fish people. Uh, blue fish people. Anyway, so. Now, Namor, Namor pops up and he's like, oh, uh, the U.S. is the surface dwellers are trying to look for vibranium and they found ours and we've stopped them. You got to like find the scientists who made the machine, blah, blah, blah. All this. Lots of threats. Um, the usual super villain threats. Funnily enough, um, and I, I was double checking. The reason why I looked them up is because I was double checking um my comic lore, which I will um. It's not really accurate to the MCU, seemingly. So I'm just gonna leave it out leave it at that if you guys if you guys want to a ask about it and don't know feel free to come to my streams link in the description and we can talk about it there i stream every monday through friday uh anyway back to neymar he's he threatens um shuri and her mom whose name escapes me because of course it does i should actually look that up hold up <laughs> Ramonda. They said it like half a dozen times in the movie and I still couldn't remember it. Anyway. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. He threatens them, gives them a thing. It's like, give me the scientist. Blow this uh, conch shell thing and throw it in the water and I will come. Uh, you know, the usual, I'm a super villain and uh, I'm just going to talk out of my ass for a couple minutes. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> um, he goes off. Um, and now, uh, the queen and the council are having a meeting. Um, Mbaku's like, we should just kill Namor, and um. You know, the usual, it's the usual council bullshit nonsense that, you know, we deal with every time uh, we're in Wakanda uh, for anything. And it's, um. <sighs> it ends somehow with them going to. To find the scientist and um Okoye 
Yeah. Manuel's given uh, to convince the queen to let her take Shuri with her. Because maybe it's what Shuri needs and whatnot, and it's, you know. So they go. Now, the scientist. Uh, the, uh, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm skipping the scene. They go and meet with Ross. Um. Not the uh, not the asshole uh, from the Hulk movie. Uh, the white dude who's played by the guy who played Watson in the BBC Sherlock. The CIA agent named Ross. Agent Ross. Anyway. He tells them uh, the name of the scientist. It is Riri Williams. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a name we recognize. Well, not moviegoers, but those uh, those whose pulse is on in a vague sense, uh, in in like the broad strokes of the comics, will know who she is. Um, we'll find out who she is in a bit. Anyway, so Shuri go and Okoye go to. Cambridge, Massachusetts. I don't know what school is in Cambridge, Massachusetts. But that's where they are. Uh, where they meet Riri. And, um, yeah. Uh, Okoye is like, look, you're either going to come with us to Kanda, conscious or unconscious. And I'm just like, hey, yo, you're trying to, you're, you're trying to save her from being killed, not kill her yourself? Copy yourself. And then uh Riri just roasts Okoye and I'm just like Ow. Ow. I won't repeat what she says because I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure me as a white guy is allowed to say what she said. <laughs> it's like yikes, y'all know the line. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, am I even allowed to repeat this? Like, there are some things that people say. I'm just like, I don't know if I'm allowed to repeat this. As a white guy, I don't know if I'm allowed to repeat this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. But she rose to the coin. And it was just like, oh. Anyway, they go off to, uh, some garage where, um, Really show they see like uh oh her, her like work laptop is just out there. It's got like some like super encryption that requires a quantum computer to break if you forget your password. Hey yo, what the hell? <laughs> Which was funny. Um now uh the FBI shows up. Yeah, uh so they escape by uh really getting into like a makeshift Iron Man suit. Uh, Okoye driving off in Riri's dad's car. We find that out later that's her dad's car, but... It's like, whatever. We'll get back to that later. It's kind of obviously belongs to one of her parents. From like how protected she is of the car. Um, uh, and, uh... Shuri goes off in like a motorcycle. They all like scatter and come back together. Okoye threatens to stab the AI CPU. Making it so that he can't compute anything for the next millennia if he doesn't take her to the princess, which was funny as fuck. Like, we're in the middle of a fight scene, and you're off here like, I'm going to stab you and make you unable to do anything for the next millennia if you don't take me to the princess. Not the time. It was funny. Completely out of left field, but, you know. Anyway, they successfully escaped the U.S. colonizer craziness. Because the U.S. government is weird like that sometimes. Especially in movies. Um, I'm not 100% certain about it in real life. Right, like that's, uh, I tend to... Oh my goodness, I have a Twitch stream open on mute and the person's dying. Like, they're literally, like, the character is dying. <laughs> Yo, man. Anyway, that's not Black Panther, so Black, back to Black Panther. They managed to escape. And they're attacked by the blue people again. We don't know what race they are. We can take a guess if we know the comics. 
but that may or may not be the truth for MCU. Uh, so we gotta wait for them to confirm it. Anyway, they get ambushed by the by the blue peoples who um, knock them all on their asses, and the first to wake up is Okoye, okay, who tries to one v like seven them, or one v five something like that. And she gets knocked on her ass into the ocean. But this also succeeds in waking up Shuri. Who's like, no, take me to Namor. I'm the princess of Wakanda. I'm not letting you take her alone. And they're like, mm, okay. And they take her down uh, un under the sea. You know, Feel free to uh, replace me with uh, Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. Saying under the sea. We'll put it into thing. My mouth is a little dry, unfortunately, so I cannot. Uh, I also like tongue. There, she um is told to wear this fancy garb to, because you're royalty and all this. And it's like okay. Uh, Riri Williams. Uh, Riri is about like she's freaking out. Anyway, uh. Shuri talks to Namor. He takes her to Talokan. Apparently they're Talokani. In the MCU. You got the name. Anyway she sees it and. um, He threatens war. He, he wants to create. Okay so Namor wants to start a war. With the surface dwellers. <laughs> because Namor is an idiot. Then again, he's a villain, so of course he's an idiot. You know, you gotta be stupid to be evil. Eh. Uh, sure, he's just like, no. Anyway. Now, Ramonda, uh, with the help of Ross. I, I need to, okay, hold on. I need to look up this man's name. I need to, I don't, I don't remember what this man's name is. Uh, his first name. I only remember his last name because they only ever call him Ross. They only ever call him Agent Ross. Agent Ross. Bro, you're kidding me, right? Oh. <clears throat> Cast. Everett. I, I, it's Agent Everett Ross. Oh, his real name's Kyle. Oh, he's, he was in Civil War, Black Panther 1, and Wakanda Forever. Interesting. Anyway, they don't run Freeman. Okay, so Adrian Ross and Queen Ramonda, um, and... Oh, I need to actually look up this... Nakia. Who is apparently T'Challa's lover. Anyway. Uh, all uh, make up a plan. Uh, sorry, sorry, I just blinked. Um, Rwanda, Nakia, and Agent Ross. Uh, I just looked up his first name for the, for for my own benefit. Um, all work together to save Riri and Shuri, but unfortunately, Nakia kills two members of the Talokani. Um, this upset. Uh. Not uh, just uh, not just well, kind of justifiably. I mean, you kidnapped the princess. Of course, y y your people are gonna die from that. Uh, but Namor got upset. And he's like, "I'm going to kill," them. and so he goes guns blazing. Invade of invasion of Wakanda and just 
kills a bunch of people. You know how they say that an eye for an eye makes a whole blind? Yeah, how does, like, several dozen eyes for two eyes? What, that, what does that do? And one of those several dozen is Queen Ramonda. Now, as a result of this, um, just rage. Rage shows up, uh, Shuri. And she manages to successfully recreate the flower used to create the Black Panther. With it, she goes on that spirit quest. And who does she meet? Not her mother. Not her brother, not her father, not any of the ancestors. She meets her cousin. Eric Killmonger. And it's like, what's up, little cousin? <laughs> anyway, they get into like a, a battle of words. And as a result, um, Shuri feels like she failed, but then she punches an armor thing that's like an armor stand that's like thing, and it gets flung flying back, right? It didn't fail. The problem is. Shuri is currently filled with so much rage and vengeance, the only one of the ancestors she could connect to was her cousin, who she hates, because he tried to take over the country by force, <laughs> uh, which... To be fair, it was an act of vengeance on his part. She wants to go for the vengeance route. They're the only ones who's aligned. He at least acknowledges that T'Challa is noble. Um, or it's like, are you going to be noble like your brother? Or are you going to do what must be done like me? Um, and it's like, mm, anyway... She becomes Black Panther. Uh, Okoye and one other person become Midnight Angel. I, I don't know who the other person is. Uh, I, I won't even attempt to figure it out. Um, just because I think it's like I th it, they're implied towards the end uh, later on that it's like Okoye's like Um, they're they're related to Okoye somehow. Um, Yeah, I don't... I, I can't find it. Anyway, um, Okoye and one other person become Midnight Angel. And... Riri, we get the reveal now. She makes a uh, suit of technological armor. Kind of like Iron Man, but not. She becomes... Oh, hold on a second. There's a page for the Midnight Angels. She becomes Ironheart. Anika, or Annika, something like that. one of the one of the two. That's the other Midnight Angel. Anyway, Riri dons the suit of the Iron Angel, or not Iron Angel, um, Iron Heart, which is who she is in the comics. Uh, that is why I said that was the earlier hint. Anyway, they also figure out during this time that. To defeat Namor, you have to dry him out. That's why he goes back and forth between the water and the air. And so the final battle is here. Wakanda 
versus Talokan. In the middle of the water, but also near a desert. So, while everyone's duking it out, um, literally all the soldiers on both sides duking it out, <sighs> Shuri and Namor take the fight to the beach. Um, where Namor in the chat, in the uh, abdomen, uh, stabs Shuri. She manages to get out of it and one final attack as he's dehydrated. She puts her arms up like this. Wakanda, it says, you know, the line Wakanda forever. And boom, something explodes. Like the ship or whatever just explodes and burns its back and knocks him on his ass. Um, she's, she has them dead to rights, right? She already has an Amor dead to rights, spear in hand. And suddenly, we flash back to all of the bad scenes, right? Like from both sides, right? Because we've we've heard a story, we've heard how we became how they become a thing, and we see both sides. We see like all of the moments that led up to this on both ends in like quick succession, like boom, 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 and. After this, Shuri finally sees her mother and tells her, you show Namor who you are. So she tells him, yield and your people will be saved. Yield and you will live. Yield and this and that, right? Essentially, it's just like, bro, give it up. I've won. <laughs> and he's like, I yield. But he says it in Talokan. Um, which apparently they all understand for some reason now. Um, hey. Anyway. Now the fight is over. Back in Wakanda. Shuri and Riri say goodbye. Riri is told, nope, you gotta leave the suit here. She's like, yeah, it's fine. Shuri returns the car in pristine condition. And that's when we reveal that it's her dad's car. Um, sorry for that early spoiler, I guess. Even though you shouldn't be watching these videos unless you've seen the movie. Like, spoilers, dude. Anyway, she goes off to Boston, um, and, um, she already said she has something to take care of, uh, when Rhea invites her to, like, Chicago to do hang out and shit, and she's like, I have something to take care of. Now, we got the, the, the little uh, coronation scene, right? Y'all remember it from Black Panther, right? We saw it like three times. <laughs> now, uh, someone's like, behold, the Black Panther. Because, you know, we're expecting Shuri to become a queen, right? Out comes M'Baku. And says, I would like to challenge for the throne. But who are you challenging, dude? T'Challa's dead. Eric is dead. And Shuri is M.I.A. She by your own words, she sends her regards. Shuri is in Heidi, Haiti. They say Heidi in the movie, but it, I, I've only ever heard it pronounced Haiti. So I'm going to go with Haiti because I, if someone's there in the country, I don't have anyone from that region at all as a viewer. But if for some reason someone from down there is watching this video, please tell me how to pronounce your country's name. Uh, I don't know. Uh, she has gone down 80 to see um, Nakia, and apparently she just took the offer to live there with her. And there we meet a very special someone. Apparently, King T'Challa. And uh, Nakia had a kid. Uh, that kid is named Toussaint in Haiti, but oh my lord, his birth name and his true name is Prince T'Challa, son of King T'Challa. He is T'Challa the second. 
Um, and that there is the movie. Uh, we get the drop, the the name drop. I think mid credits. Yeah, Mbaku's like, ah ha ha. I have challenged for the throne. The credits rolled. And then mid credit scene was meeting the young prince. Uh and Shuri showing up in Haiti and Yeah, that's it. That's the movie. Uh anyway. As for my rating of this movie, since that is the whole point of these videos, I give it I give it a solid ten out of ten. I I there's there's I Realistically. Oh! I forgot one scene. Because uh, Ro Everett Ross is no longer Agent Ross. He's now just Everett Ross. He got arrested for treason. And on his way out, he was saved by Okoye. And she's like, the colonizer in chains? Now I've really seen everything. Because <laughs> apparently they just call him the colonizer. And he just goes with it. Uh, Shuri's favorite colonizer is, uh, is, uh, is Everett Ross. <laughs> I fucking love that. I love the relationship between two. Anyway. Yeah, that's the whole movie. Anyway, I give it a solid 10 out of 10. It's a, it's a perfect movie for all lacks. I just realized, the last two movies I've watched and I've done a review of on this channel, they're both 10s out of 10s. Damn. I got no complaints. Let's go. Anyway. Tell me what you guys thought of the movie down in the comment section down below. That's it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright.